Okay, I'd like to go over, uh, uh, we started something yesterday, 13 lines from the, up from the bottom on Samech Tes Amid Beis. 13 lines up the, up the bottom, Samech Tes Amid Beis. We're going to bring a Shaila in, and we're going to use a Mishnah to be, bring a Raya through the Shaila. Well, not the Shaila, it's a statement of Rav. So, Itmar, Habal Rusasa Bebeis Chama. A person goes ahead, he has relations with his Arusa. Again, they're not living together. He's Mekadasha, she's his wife, she's an Eishas Ish. But they're not living together yet. And he's with at Chupa, he goes ahead and he lives with her. Rav Mahavlad Mamzer. This seems to be very extreme, and we'll see why. So I Farsham say is because we go we have the Roiv of the world, and Roiv of the world is she's he's not Roiv. In other words, when when a person gets married, how do you know your son is your son or your daughter is your daughter? Because we go if the Roiv. We know it came from your wife because it kind of came out of her. But we go after Roiv and we say, uh, ostensibly, you were the only person you with your wife. Over here, where no one was living together with her yet, so therefore the Roiv would say, Roiv to the world would say, it's a mamzer. We'll see, we'll see in a second. It's not a vaday mamzer, it's a suffix mamzer. A shtuki would say, shtuk, who the father is. When Rav goes ahead and says it's a mamzer, it must be speaking, this woman for being with other people. In other words, there's a, there's a shmua that this woman is a very, is a very careless woman. If that shmua, that room is not there, then basra di desha din alay. But there's no roiv. We go after him. We go after him. We we'll go after him and they say that the child is not a mamzer, but in fact is a kosher Jew. It's the child of the aris. Amarava mino amin Allah, and this is why he brought this in in the first place. Mino amin Allah. How do I know this? The tani. It says in the Mishnah that if a bas a bas Yisrael lives with a kayin, right? Yolda if she gives birth. Toichal, she goes ahead and eats. As soon as she gives birth, she eats. Now, how do you know that the child she gives birth to is a Kayin? Bas Yisrael is engaged to a Kayin, right? They're not living yet together. We said if she gets pregnant, she still doesn't eat truma because a, a child that's not born yet can't feed. You live based on it's got to be Yulad. And now but the Mishnah said, but if the child is born, then she eats. Why does she eat? Obviously, because why? She, it's a, it's, it's, he's a kayan. A kayan, a child fe, feeds a bas yisrael. A, ba, a bas yisrael. Says the gemara, yol detachem. The hechi dami. Ile mi de dami yama alma. If this woman was suspicious of being with other people, then yolda my teichel. Why, when she gives birth, should she eat? We don't know if it's a, it's a kayan or not. El olav, it must be mina. The dami, it must be that what? That was suspicious of the husband, the kayan. Vele dami yama alma. Mahasam de la Hayisur, la Hayisura, Mahasam over there in our Mishnah, where there was no Kedushin, and Okain was Ma'anisar. And we say, though, in other words, the case of the Mishnah is speaking where the Nusa. So she was forced by a Kain. So, in other she was forced by a Kain. How do we know that the child's a Kain? So, Mahasam in our Mishnah, de la Hayisura, to the one who was Ma'anisar, she's Asa, or la Hayisura, and to the rest of the world, she's Asa. Basra de de Shadin and late. Nonetheless, we're going to say we go after the person who was Ma'anisa saying it's a Koyen and therefore she needs Truma. Hacha over here in our case, uh, where she was engaged, de lahai sura to the rest of the world, she's also ulahaya terra, but to the betrothed, her husband, she is muta. Like Kulsha came to say it came out from him. Like Kulsha came to say it came from him. Again, we, if she's also the Rabbana, the question is, who's the child? We want to know feeding. No, but it's, it's too assumed either, either way. Again, we're not discussing. They did the wrong thing. It shouldn't have been with her in the first place. That, but that's not Shaliyako. No, do we say she goes to the guy? No, no, no. We, we only, we only, we don't concern about that she did not aveira. All of a sudden, because she did not aveira, we're going to be chayshed for doing such a thing. You know, some a careless woman's careless woman. So I'm a lay bias. This is a bias to Rav. Again, so guys, what's a raya? It must be the what that she was not, not suspicious of the world, only this person. Even what will say, even if she what, it was suspicious of him and not suspicious of the world, the Vlad is still be a mamza. I, she's married, to, I, she's married to the guy. So why are we suspicious? My timer. Which she shouldn't have done. So Afghan Nafshi La Alma. In other words, she lost, as the uncle said so much, she lost her cheskas kashras by the fact that what? She was over in the sister Rabbana by being with her Oris when she wasn't supposed to be with her Oris. So even without suspicion to the rest of the world, even though the suspicion is this person, once she was over the system, Hechate said that this is the only one she'd be with. <laughs> once she was mafka herself, she's mafka herself. That's a, so by the same we have no raya. We have no raya, that's all. 
Now, question. Our Mishnah says, what does our Mishnah say? That the child is what? Is a, the child is, 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 is Kayin. Now, why? If, if you're suspicious, why? Once she was mafka herself, why is it suspicious? speaking, They were both what? In the base Yisurim. They were both, in other words, they, they both came out of prison and then he was with her. So therefore, there's no, no question that the only person she was with was what was him. Ikadi Amri, there's another way to learn Peshat in this Gemara, another, another Lushen. It's not speaking about what? It's speaking the following case. The Ba'al Laha, if the Oris is with her, Kuliamle Pligi de Basre di De Shadina Mike. If the Oris was with her, certainly we're going to say the child is the product of that union and no one else, and the child's kosher. So where did we learn that what that the child's a mamas are? Behechi itma is a rusa sheibra, a narusa that's pregnant. In other words, you don't know if he, he was with her or not. She said, if he says he was with her, we'll say it's a child. So here a rusa sheibra. And Arusa, she's what? Well, she's pregnant. Rav Amma, Rav says, Havlad Mamza, right? Of course, we're going to go after the rave of the world. Ushmul Amma, Havlad Shtuki. So Amma Rav, Mistab and Milsa, the Rav, that we're going to go after the rave of the world. Vladamia Mine, we were not suspicious particularly of him. Vladamia Me Alma, we're suspicious of the rest of the world. So we'll go after the rave of the world. Since she's engaged to other man, we'll go after the rave of the world. She's an Asian ish, thus rendering the child to be a Mamza. Avladamia Mine, if she's suspicious, we're suspicious of her husband, Afagav the Damia Ma'alma, even though what? Even though we are suspicious of both. Basri di Desha didn't label. Always going to go after him. In other words, in the first Lashen, is if we're suspicious of the world, that's over. Over here, even if you're suspicious of the world, but if you suspect, you suspect that he was with her, we're going to say we're going to go after him and the Charles Kasha. I'm a Rav, I mean, I mean, Allah, where I know this from? The Tani. Our Mishnah says, Yolda, an Anusa from a Kayen who gives birth, Toichal shall be the Truma. Now, hey, Kidami, he lay me the Damia Mine, Vele Damia Alma, Srikla Meme the Techel. If, in other words, if the rest of the world she's not, we're not suspicious, only suspicious of him, do you need to tell me she eats? Lachaira, it's Dava Pashit. Once she has a child from a Kayen, she eats. El Alav, it must be the Damia Nami Mi Alma, it must be both. And what's the Chiddish? That even though you dami him alma, since we're, we're, she's she's, uh, she's dami with him, then she's going to eat truma. Uma hasam, over there in our mishnah, the lahai sura ulahai sura, right? In, in the case by the anusa in our mishnah, right? She's asked of both, and nonetheless, basri did they shadi in We're going to say we go after the kayin because she's eating truma. Hacha in the case of arusa, the lahai sura to the rest of the world, she's asa ulahai atera to makadish. She's atera like all shkain. So, so according to this, the raya is that well, if you if suspicious, as long as you're suspicious of him, the child will be okay, even if you're suspicious of the world. I'll tell you the following. Once you're suspicious of the rest of the world, forget about it. Even if you're what, suspicious of him, Charles will be a mamza. And our Mishnah is, but lay down your cloud. A Mishnah that says that, in other words, once you're suspicious, it's all over. Why are Mishnah guys? Are you going to say that what that the child is a bas is a, is a, is a, is a kayin? Because you weren't suspicious at all. This woman was she was a squeaky clean woman. You know, no, squeaky clean. There was no shaila about her, and therefore the child what is a is a kayin, and therefore would feed her, even though he's one out of wedlock. Okay, going back to the Mishnah for a second, we said an eved, an eved is not considered a child, an eved. Will poisel mishum bia, but it won't pass because zera. In other words, if an if an eved is with a woman, the woman now will be puzzled. She'll be she'll be puzzled as a zayna. She'll be puzzled. But if you have a child from an eved, that's not going to pass. So in other words, if a, a a woman would have a child, if a woman would have a child, uh, let's say a ben, and that ben would go ahead and live with an eved. Who have a uh, yeah, and that Ben would live would live with an Eved. Let me make, make sure I'm telling you the right shot. Uh, yeah, that Ben Ben would live with, with uh, an Eved and produce an Eved, and then the Ben would die, and and leave a ma- and leave an Eved. That Eved's not going to feed her truma. It's not it's not going to stop her from eating truma. It won't pass her if she's a baskaya, and the basi still won't feed because we won't consider the Eved if it's there at all, right? It's not there considered at all. What's the reason? My time, Amakra, 
Isha v'yada tilad neha. The Isha and 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 uh, by Pashas Mishpatim that we give an Eved Ivri, an Am Evriah, it belongs to the Adam. It doesn't belong to Mamza Poisel Michael. Mamza, the zera of a Mamza, the zera of a Mamza will passel. In other words, if it's a bas, if it's a bas, it's a bas, it's bas koyen, and she has a grandchild that's a Mamza, it'll passel her from eating truma. And if it's a bas yisrael, it would feed. Tanrabanan zera in law. It says it doesn't have any children. She returns zera in law. She goes back home. In liela zara. That's only if she has her children. Zera zara minayin. How do you know the children of her children? Minayin. How do you know she has grandchildren? She can't eat truma if she's a bas koyin. Says zera in law mikal malkin. In liela zera kasha zera pasle minayin. How do you know even a mamzer would stop her from eating truma? Tamilima Vizera in law, I in Allah. Go go look, look look at any lineage. So again, as we said yesterday, a mamzer is a Jew. A mamzer is meyuchis. It has a, it has a parent, right? It's not it's not like an evet. It has a parent. But how I think that Fred Gemara, how can you use the I in Allah to tell me that the Zera puzzle a fik the Zera Zara? You already used for for a grandchild. It says more Zera Zara a grandchild to tell me that a grandchild would feed uh, would feed a bas bas Yisrael and passel a bas kaya from her back home. You don't need a plastic. Why? Because we had the sugya that grandchildren are like children. So what do you need a full the zera puzzle? That the zera puzzle would go ahead and again either feed truma or passel from truma. Who does this go according according to? Rabbi Akiva, a mystician that says that Oivik Chavim, the Ever Abba Abbas Yisrael, the Vadas and Mamza must be like Rabbi Akiva. Domar, Yesh Mamza, Michai Ve'Lavim. Where else? Where do you get the Mamzeris from? Says my field came Rabbonon. By Ovi Kachavim the Eved Moida. By Ovi Kachavim the Eved, they would be Moida of Vlad Mamza. We had a sugya Arucha, uh, and we said that like, we don't pass them this way, but there is such a day. The Chiyos of Dimi and Dimi came off from Eretz Yisrael over Rabbi Yitzchak, by Rabbi Dimi, Mishum Rabbeinu, the name of Rabbeinu, Miss Rabbi Huda Nasi. Ovi Kachavim the Eved, Abba Vas Yisrael of Vlad Mamza. So therefore, it doesn't not necessarily locked into saying it's according to Rabbi Akiva. So, so what we have? Get, what do we have? You have a grandchild over here. Here's what happened. Again. Either Bas Yisrael or or or, or a Bas Kayin had a child. That child had a, had a child. That either the child was an Eved or a Mamza. So if the child's an Eved, doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect you at all. It's like it's not there at all. So if you're Bas Kayin, it's not going to impede you from eating truma. If it's a Bas Yisrael, it won't let you eat truma. Conversely, if the child's a Mamza, it will pass a Bas Kayin and it'll go ahead and feed a Bas Yisrael. That's what we saw. Now we have a the last case that the Mishnah was a little ambiguous. Let's see it again. The last case of the Mishnah is Kain Gadol. Kain Gadol Pom Shu Poisel. Sometimes the Kain Gadol will pass it. Ketzad. Bas Kain Yisrael. You have a Kainis Li Yisrael. So let's start off. So she stops eating, correct? Bas Kain Li Yisrael. She stops eating. The Yoldi Menu Bas. And that Bas is going to ensure that she stops eating. Why? Because she won't be able to go back home. Good. The Holcha Bas, the Bas goes, the Nisus Lekoyen. Now the Bas marries the Koyen. The Yolda Himenu Ben. And now there's a Ben. So you have a Bas Koyen who married Yisrael, who has a daughter who married a Koyen. So now the child born, her grandchild is a Koyen. The grandchild's a Koyen. She was a Bas Koyen, but she married Yisrael. Good. So now what happens? This child that's born could be the Kain Gadol, no problem. He could feed its mother, because his mother is married to a Kayin, who poisel Amy Mai, but it would passel his, his grandmother, who was a Bas Kayin, from going back home and eating. So I say, Maris, like him, like Kain Gadol. I don't want to shoot a slam at Shuma. You should not have a child like this Kain Gadol who's going to stop me from eating Shuma. <laughs> Okay, let's go through the case again, guys. Let's go the fascinating case. She initially ate truma because she was what a bas kain. She married a bas yisrael. She stopped eating truma. If if uh, her husband died and there was no children, she'd go back to eating truma. She has a bas. She has a daughter. So even if her husband dies, she can't go ahead and eat truma because she has a bas. That bas goes ahead now and marries a kain, and now she has a grandchild kain. Good. That kain could be the kain gadol. Now, let's say her husband died and her boss died. <laughs> so 
she, even though she has no children anymore, so and she's a Baskayin, nonetheless, she can't eat Truma. Why? Because her Kayin Gadol grandson is going to stop her. So, says the Gemara. Kayin Gadol Pamisha Paisel, Tan Rabbanon, Hareni Kaporis Ben Biti Kuza, may I be may I be the Kapara for my daughter, the Mamza, Kuza is a small kais, but my daughter, Mamza, Shemaycheni B'Truma, who fed me Truma. In other words, you can have a child as a Mamza that's going to feed you, right? The any Kaparis, and I should not get a para, Ben Biti, my granddaughter, right? Turn around, any Kaparis, Ben Biti, excuse me, my granddaughter, Kuza of a Mamza, that can feed me Truma. The any Kaparis, Ben Biti, I should get a Kapara from Ben Biti, Kada, a big, a big, not, not a Kuza, not a small kais, but a Kada, a big kais, a Kain Gadol, so the Gemara ends with a very ironic situation. You can have a granddaughter and mamza that feeds you, and a granddaughter and mamza that stops you from eating. Okay, next parak is, is parak oral. Parak oral is, is, is uh, deals a lot. Again, the previous parakim dealt a lot with truma and pasal and chalolim. This parak deals a lot with mila. Okay. If you're, if you're a kayin oral, if you're kayin oral, you cannot eat truma. We're going to learn that from Pesach. Just like a Koyen who's a, just like a person who's an oral can't be in the carbon Pesach, so to a Koyen who is an oral can't eat Truma. Good. What is an oral? What is an oral? This is a huge machlaikis. Says Rashi, an oral is anyone whose two son, two brothers died as a result of Mila. Anyone who two died of Mila. So they gave a Mila to his older brother. He, he, he bled out. Mila to the second one, he bled out. So we saw we had Machloikis in Rebbe and Meshur Gamliel about when establishes Chazaka. So we said concerning when it comes to life, we're, we're going to be suspicious for the third time. You don't need three times in the fourth time, right? That's what Meshur Gamliel. Rebbe said the third time. So this person is not going to get what a Bismillah. Taisus agrees. However, if you look at the Taisus Yishanim, if you look at it, there's a little parish on the side of your Gemara called Taisus Yishanim. And it says the word Suadaka. And right above that it says, Upirish Rabbeinu Tam, the oral Ritzan Olaymar, Mishumid La'alas, is a person who refuses to get a bris meal. He's scared. He's Mishumid La'alas. Taisus Yishanim holds that Rashi's case, the guy is an onus, and he would eat truma. He's an onus. He wants to do a bris meal. He can't. It's physically impossible. It's a physical impossibility. They won't let him halachically do it. He's not an oral, says, says, says Rabbeinu Tam. He's an onus. He's, he's, it's, 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 it's not his fault. And therefore, he will be able to eat truma. When we're discussing oral as a person who is scared to do a mila, he's a mishumid. He, he's like, he's against mila. I can't do it. And that's the moment it's discussing that why that can't do it. It's machloikis between Rabbeinu Tam and, and, uh, and Rashi. This, this machloikis is a piece that we had in Chagiga. It appears throughout Shas, this machloikis. So we begin the parak. Ha'oral v'chol ha'temeim. An oral and anyone that's tamei. Lo yochlu b'truma. They don't eat truma. They can't eat truma. However, nesheim v'avdeim yechlo b'truma. Their wives and their avodim could be. Their wives and avodim are kinyan kaspo. Guys, an is a kain. He's a kain. A kain kinyan kaspoi, meaning his wife and his avodim eat truma. So the fact that he can't eat is not an impediment for them eating. They could eat. Pitsua daka. Pitsua daka is someone we're going to see whose beitza is crushed, even one. Ukrus shavcha. But Khrushchevka, someone whose git is cut, is Avers cut. Now, they're not supposed to marry in the Kalashem. Now, if you have a Koyin who's a, it's a Batsuadaka of Khrushchevka, they and the Avodim Yochul, they both eat. The, 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 again, he's not an oral. Guys, he's not an oral. He's not a Tamei. He, he's not allowed to Kalashem. It's a Zaitika problem. He can't marry in the Kalashem, but he, he can eat Truma. He's a Koyin. There's a Koyin. However, Vinashem Lo Yochlu, you know why? Because since he's Chaive Lavim, if they're boiling, it's in the schal of them, right? In the schal, they'll, they'll come halal through the beer. So therefore, the wives don't eat. And if they never live together, in other words, they got married. It was on the up and up. Guys, she wouldn't be allowed to marry him. So he married, he was a normal guy. And then something happened. And then something happened that now he's got a problem. And now... Now, if she didn't have relations with him and he was a Kayin, she still would be able to eat because he didn't become a Chalala because there was no beer. Ariel and Yochlu, they'll eat. 
The A's now, the Mishnah concludes, and we'll get into the sugi a little bit later. One of his beitzim is, is crushed. Both of them are crushed. Shaloi. Even even one of them. That the gid is cut, his ave is cut. And the shtayim me'atara, part of it, the top is, is, is remains. Okay, we'll discuss that at a later date. Okay, let's discuss the din of oral. We said an oral, that an oral of the cannot go ahead wide at man and eat truma. An oral can't eat truma. Tanya. I'm Rebbe, I'm Rebbe Eliezer. Change it to Kerbal Eliezer. How do you know an oral can't eat truma? How do you know an oral can't eat truma? Because the Pasik says, It says by, by Korban Pesach, it says, It says by Truma, and it says by Truma, the Cholzor lo yoichel kaidesh, all non kaying should eat kaidesh, which is Truma. Toishiv kaying besacher lo yoichel kaidesh. We'll see what a toishiv and a sacher is in, in a little while. But we have established that a carbon pesach, toishiv besacher can eat even carbon pesach. It says the word toishiv besacher by, by, by Truma. So just like an oral, guys, mafur shapas by oral, that an oral can't go ahead and, and, and partake. partake. In the current Pesach, and it says Toishiv Vesacher, so too by Truma, where it says Toishiv Vesacher, he can't partake of Truma because it says Toishiv Vesacher. So you're learning out Truma from current Pesach. Current Pesach is the given, that's the Malamed, and the and Truma is the Lamad. You're learning out from there. Ma Toishiv Vesacher and Pesach Arul Asabai, Av Toishiv Vesacher and Truma. But this is the Gzera Shava. Rabbi Kiva Oimer, Rabbi Kiva says, Ain't it Saruch? You don't need the Gzera Shava. Hario Oimer, the Pasik says, again, we're really working over Parshas Amar. Ish, ish, right? The Pasik says, Ish, ish, Mizera Aroin, Hut Sarua, he's a Mitsaira, Izov, something that flowed from his body. By Kotchim, by, by Kotchim, it means by Truma, Loyachal, Arashe Yitta, okay? So therefore, it says, ish, ish, the rabbi sa'aral, why is the double ashen? To be marber and aral. So I don't need the gezer shava, I'll let Rabbi Akiva of Tosh of I have the Pasuk itself telling me that what? You can, an aral can eat truma. Ish, ish, the rabbi sa'aral. It's the, what's the double ashen? It goes ahead to include that an aral cannot eat. Amamar, going back over the b'risa, Rabbi Eliezer Oimer, nema Tosh of Esach of Pesach. It says, Tosh of Esach regarding a carbon Pesach. Okay, now, outside. A Gezer Shava was very interesting. In order to say a Gezer Shava, you need a Messiah from your Rebbe. I heard this B'Shem of Al-Khan and I never saw a B'Shem of I never saw it inside. I'm saying over what I heard. See, there were extra words. There was a Messiah and extra words. That's why you needed a Messiah from a Rebbe. That there were, there, were, there were extra words that were out there. Good? Now, what you darshan these extra words, you need the Rebbe to tell you how they were darshan. There is, because there is shav is that you could remove them because of a question. I'm saying, Shad, I don't know if this is true. Because there's a question, that would show that those, there was no that wasn't the meaning of learning it, or because again, if there's a misora on it, if there's a question on it, that can't mean the meaning of the extra word. How it's supposed to be darshan? Again, this is my interpretation. I, I don't know if it's true. That since why do you need a misora? Because after all, this you as we're going to see, you could darshan, you can't darshan. So if you ask a question on a shabbat, you could remove it because that question is showing you that what that the, that's not pshat. That's provided that it's not totally extra. In other words, I can have a commonality in words. That's Xerishov, a commonality in words. Toshav Sacha here, Toshav Sacha there. And the commonality says, let's put the din, one din over here and teach about over there. That's provided there's no question. If I have a question, that might go ahead and do away with it. Now, if I can prove to you, if I can go ahead and prove to you that these words are totally extra, they don't teach me anything, nothing, then they were, they were put there for what purpose? To teach me whatever I want to learn out from them. I have a kasha, forget, we don't care. 
That's called the Gzereshova Mufna. The Gzereshova is extra. Now, there's, in every Gzereshova, there is the commonality. There's the Lo'amad and the Malame, right? So when it says Mufna, it's extra. Where's it extra? From this one, that one, or both? So that's the discussion tonight. Says the Gemara. Says the Gemara, when we have this Gzereshova of Toshi V'Sacher, Toshi V'Sacher, it must be Mufna, it must be extra, because we have such a kasha that would destroy the Gzere Shava. What's the kasha? The Elav Mufna, because if the Gzere Shava is not extra, the words, Ikel and Mifrich, guys, have a Gvaldika kasha. You want to learn that Trumor from Pesach, Mala Pesach Shekain, Chayav Mulav Mishum, Pigel, Venaiser, Vitame. You be Chayev for eating Pigel. Pigel is if you have the wrong Machshava, it can be a Chutzla Makam Chutzla Zman. If it's Chutzla Zman, there's a Chi of Karis. Venaiser, if you eat it after it's a lot of time, this is a dinner of nicer. If you eat it, tame, you will also chay for, for tame. So l'chayra, I mean, tame is also shy right by, by truma as well. Toysus addresses it. That by, by Pesach, there's a, and it's the chorus for eating if you tame. Masha'in came by truma, if you eat it with you won't be chay of chorus, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot. It's in the beginning of uh, third paragraph in Marcus. Okay, so in other words, guys, one more time. We're learning Taisha Vesacha. We're learning, yeah, just like Karim Pesach and Earl's out of the ballpark, so to buy Truma, Earl's out of the ballpark. Says the Gemara, there must be extra, because if it's not extra, I got a bomb kasha. You know why Pesach is out of the ballpark for Earl? Because it's so severe. There's a Chiyav Karis by Pigel, by Neusser, and by Tomei. Mashenka by Truma, there's no Chiyav. So therefore, says the Gemara, La'a, you're right. It must be extra. Now, high mufna, which is extra? Is the truma part extra? The toys of the by truma or the toys of the by pesach? Eat the truma, mitzrach tzrichi. Truma is not extra. I need toys of the for the following. The tanya. Now, guys, what's the toys of the There's a din of an evid ivri. How long does an evid ivri work? Six years. And if he wants to stay there with the shifcha that his wife gave him, he's very happy that his master gave him. Then he gets old in his ear, his right ear. We call him a nirza, and he stays till yoivol. Good. Toishav is a guy who what is residing. He's there till yoivol. What's a sachir like a day worker? He's there for six years. So it's speaking about an evid ivri. Toishav is sacha is speaking about an evid ivri and two types: one that's toishav oilam, and one that is what is sachir for six years. So mitzvah tzrich netanya. Toishiv zekoyne kinyan oilam. You koyne what till till what till yovel. Sochir zekoyne kinyan shonim for six years. For y- now, what does it teach me? Vayoyim a toshiv layoyim a sochir. Vani oyim a kal koyne kinyan oilam ena oichel. If what? If a koyne kinyan oilam, a koyne buys an evet ivri forever, does not eat truma. Certainly, if he's not forever, only for six years, he does not eat. Now, what's the svara why he doesn't eat? Why doesn't Evet Kanani eat? Why doesn't Isha eat? Because it's called Kenyan Kaspo. It's the Kenyan of your Kesef. An Evet Ivri, you never acquire the body of the Evet. You only acquire what? The rights his usage. By an Evet Kanani, you acquire his body. You, you coin him with Kesef Shtar Chazaka, like a piece of karka. You, you pass it on like a family heirloom. It's a piece of karka. An Evet Ivri, Sochev, which are both speaking about Evid Ivrim, right? They are not Koina, and therefore what? They would not eat. So the Gemara wants to know, just tell me one, and I know the other. Tell me a guy who is near to doesn't eat. I know certainly what the guy for six years doesn't eat. So, so it says, it says the Gemara, Ilu Kane, if you only said one, I would have said that's only for six years. If I had my druthers, I'd say if I only had one of them, I'd say six years, not not until uh, until Yoival. I will kind of kill the oil of Michael, but the one who works to Yoival, I would say that what he does eat. I would say he's what he's mamas like an evet kanani. So bas socher v'limin al toishiv. The word socher teaches on toishiv. So af al pishah kind of kinyan oilam, even though it's kind of kinyan oilam, ain't ain't oichel el el pesa. Ain't oichel. Good. Now, so therefore, guys, truma can't be extra, guys. Truma can't be extra. I need to teach me the din of what that an evet ivri, whether he's a six year guy or an oilam guy, does not eat. Now. Elot the Pesach Mufna. Now it's got to be Mufna again because you got the ka- the Kasha, my Pesach, that what you have pickled rice in the So therefore, what's the reason? It must be Mufna. The Pesach must be Mufna. Hi, Toisha Vesacha, the Kasrach Mufna Pesach, my Ninu. But Toisha Vesacha, that's written by Pesach, what is it? Now, guys, let's go through it. Guys, Toisha Vesacha, what is, uh, is what? Is it an Evid Ivri? 
There's an avenue in Mechuyiv in Karim Pesach. Yeah. So when it says Toshim Pesach by Toshim Pesach by by Karim Pesach, you can't be speaking about Avadivri, right? Uh, says the Gemara. E name a Toshim Pesach Mamish. Shem the Harvey Toshim Pesach. If they let me Pesach, but Kaimel on Gabi Truma the Loi Achol the Truma they don't eat. Alma, what do you see by Truma they don't eat? That Loi Kano Loi Rabbi. That his nest is not kind to him. So Achanami by Pesach. Nami like Kanale Rabbi, his nest is also not kind to him. So therefore he's a, a full-fledged Jew, he's high in Pesach. So why do you have to tell me Toshi Vesach by Pesach that doesn't eat? Ella must be Lapnuye. It's totally extra. In other words, you don't have to say it at all. Why do you say it? Right? You said it simply for the reason to make the Gzeri Shava to Arul that an Arul doesn't eat by Truma, just like a carbon Pesach doesn't eat, and in Toshi Vesach is extra, so too what by by, tr- by Truma, the oral doesn't eat because it says Toshav Asachet. That's Alima. Good? Mm-hmm. Now, who says this then? Rebbe Eliezer. You know what Rebbe Eliezer holds, guys? Says Rebbe Eliezer, if it's extra from one side, you ask Akasha. Mm-hmm. So you've established it's extra by Pesach. Guess what? You haven't saved yourself any, anything. You know why? I stuck there, Shea Kasha. Ma Pesach, the Chayim, Mishum Pigon, Laisim, the Tame. Ah, it's extra one side. Says the Gemara, the Kati Muflimit Sidechad, who Vishamina Lay Rebbe Eliezer changed the Gersa, the Ma Muflimit Sidechad, the Maidim, you learned the Xeris Shava, we may shiv him and you can ask upon it. So, so, how do you, so therefore, I got a Kasha. It doesn't help me that the words Toshe Vesach are actually by Pesach. I'm not able to learn Truma from Pesach simply because Pesach has the Chumra that is high in the Pigon Lays of the Tame. And for the Gemara, Kibin the Gufei Lay Tsarech, since I don't need the Toshe Vesach. By what? For Pesach? You know what I'm going to do? Shadichad alamad. I'll send one on Truma. The Shadichad alamad. And I'll keep one by Pesach. Beautiful on this. I got two extra words. I got one place, Truma, that nothing's extra. Good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take one of these words and put it by Truma. I'm going to keep one with, by itself. Now it's mufni mitzayd I got two extra words. Now it's totally extra. When it's totally extra, even if you have a question, you don't ask the question. So even like Rebbe Eliezer, we're going to learn out Lamaskana. We're going to learn out Truma Oral from Pesach, just like Pesach, Oral, oral can eat a carbon Pesach, who are by Truma, and Oral can't eat Truma. Good. Gishmak. Says the Gemara Vaitan. Ima Pesach. Oinin asar by a carbon pesach and oinin can't be from the carbon pesach and oinin the first day of the avelis the burial you can't eat from the carbon pesach at truma oinin masar ba so in other words once you're learning from pesach at that what that oral's out of the ballpark let's extend and the, all the dinim from pesach should apply to to, to truma it's not it's not it's not a it's not a kavrena it was kavrena so now so. Let's guys, let's extend. Can an oyni eat from, the, eat from the current Pesach? No. Can an oyni eat truma? Yes. But why? Once you have the Xeri Shava, let's learn that just like Arl's out of the ballpark, oyni is also out of the ballpark by truma. Says the Gemara. Amar Rabbi Yosef Chanino, Amakra, the Pasuk says, V'chol zor lo yachol boi, zara samati lecha, zor doesn't eat, v'lo yaninus. In other words, I'll exclude a zor from eating truma, but I won't exclude an oinin from eating truma. I'll exclude a czar from eating truma, but I wouldn't exclude a czar. In other words, I have a pasuk to tell me that what to be marba what to be marba a what a an oinin. Says the Gemara, the ema loyla arlos. Okay, one one second. You're saying that you're excluding aninos that uh, that aninos by truma. <laughs> Why do we choose to go ahead and apply it to truma? Why don't we cho- do it to oral? It says v'chol zor zarus, meaning guys, a non kohen can eat truma, but an oinin could eat truma. Let's learn the following: a non kohen can eat truma, but an oral kohen could eat truma, and an oinin kohen can eat truma. Why do you opt to go ahead and exclude aninus from eating truma being being a problem? Why don't we go ahead? In other words, you have a gezer shava, Fred the Gemara. So let's learn all the halachas. Says Gemara, I've 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 a, I've a miyot. I have something to exclude from that parsha. So why do you exclude Aninus from the parsha? Exclude Arlus Ar- from the parsha? Then Oral could eat truma and include Aninus that he can't eat truma. Why do you opt to go ahead what and 
and include include Arul in the in the Isser and exclude Aninus. Let's do the opposite. Says the Gemara, one second. Haksiv Taisha Vesacher. Good. It's you have a leeway. Taisha Vesacher. It's got to apply to something, right? Said the Gemara. Umar Royas. Okay. So now I know there's a Gezer Shava to say that Oral, right? You, that that Pesach and Truma have a commonality. That there's a din by by Pesach that what that's out of the ballpark. But who are din by Truma? It's out of the ballpark. What did you opt for, guys? Oral, just like by Pesach, the Oral's out of the ballpark. So too by Truma, the Oral's out of the ballpark. How about this, guys? My, just like Pesach and Ninus is out of the ballpark. So too what Truma's out of the ballpark. I what are you going to ask Toisha Yeah, it's to teach me Aninus. All Toshas Asachah does, it tells me there's halachas that exist by Pesach that are applying to what? To Arul. We used it to apply, say, Truma. I can just as easily say, just like Aninus is out of the ballpark by Pesach, it's out of the ballpark, what? By Truma. But who? But by Arul, he's in the ballpark. And then you don't have a kasha of Toshas Asachah, right? So it says that's the Gemara's kasha, guys. That's the, the meat of the kasha. Umar Royas, why do you see to go ahead and include Arul in the Isar? And exclude Aninus in the year, so let's go the opposite way. Says no, no. Our Arlis Rebuye, it makes more sense to include Arlis in the parsha of what of not eating Truma. Shekane, and here's a simon, Maisa Krusim Bidavar What does that mean? This is this is the this is the what oral the problem with oral. One, Mechusa Maisa, it's Mechusa actions, Umaisa Begufai. It's mechuser in action. In other words, he's in oral, and the action's in his body. But in this chorus, and if he doesn't have a bris, it's one of the two mitzvahs I say that you have chorus for that and for Pesach. The Yeshna Lefnei Adibor was given to Avram Avinu before Man Torah. Umilas zechora ba'avod of Ma'kebes. If you have a son who's not gemalit, or an Eved that's not gemalit, you can't eat from the Karim Pesach. Again, if, you, if you're a gemalit, but you have a son that's not, or an Eved that's not, yeah. their fact that they're not Gamala will not allow you to go to Pesach. Uh, Where they, 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 what? Unless the kids are Mitzvah. What? If the kids are Mitzvah, then it's not a new one anymore, right? Again, if you have a son that is Gamala, again, this is a, that's a side point. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the answer to your question. I would say no. If, at first glance, I'd say no. I'd say, again, maybe not. But L'chala the, the, the fact is, when it comes to the Karim Pesach, Milas Bonov, and Milaswat of, of your of your Eved is Ma'akiv. Says the Gemara Adraba. Aninus Havilela Rebuye. In other words, so uh, there are Khumris by Aninus that we should include it in the Pasha that you anointed Kenny Truma. Shekin Yeshna Bechol Shah. It happens to everyone. It happens all the time. It happens all the time, not just like a meal is a one 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 shot deal. The Nohegis by Nash and Binash, and people die all the time. It's not like by both men and women. The NBR will attack in and there's nothing to do. By oral, you can go ahead and, 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 and have bismillah. Says, says the Gemara, Hanach Nefishin. Nonetheless, the list that exists by, by oral is longer. It's a longer list. So, therefore, giving my druthers to include the Isra of Truma to an oral or the Isra of Truma to Aninus, I'm going to go ahead and, and say what? It's an oral. Rav Amalach, Rav says, You can't go ahead and 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 include Aninus. It makes more sense to include Arlo. Why? Shavkin and Arlos the Kesiv begufe the Pesach, the Yafin and Aninus be Pesach, the Pesach gufe be Meisel Gaminon. Okay, outside guys, outside. What are we doing now? We're learning out from Karim Pesach. We're learning out Arlo by Truma. The Gemara's kasha is, by Truma, let's learn an Aninus from Pesach. How do you know that an oral can eat from the Karim Pesach? State Mufurish in the Torah, right? An oral can eat. It's, it's a Pesach in the Torah and Pashas both. How do you know that an Onen can't eat? It's a Gezer Shavu from Misa. And Pashas Kisavi says, speaking about Misa Shani, and it says, I didn't eat by Aninus. So we learn how to Gezer Shavu to, but we learn Zer Shava, my Sashani to Pesach. Good. So your whole limit for what, for owning the existence of what, of an Issa is Zer Shava. Mashain Kane oral what is what is a, a Mephorsha Pasuk. So now I want to learn out the Toshiva Sakhir from what, from Truma, 
from what from Pesach. I have a choice. I can go with a Mephorosh Pasik or I can go with a Gzer Shava. Which are you going to go with? Mephorosh Pasik. Therefore, says Rava, even without your list, it makes more sense to go to Mephorosh Pasik to learn out the Isser of Truma of Oro, which is written, rather than the Isser of Oinen that is stayed from my Sheni, al Yidei Gzer Shava. So therefore, two reasons why, given our druthers, where you're going to go and say that you're going to learn out Pesha um, Vesacher from Truma to Pesach, that you can go with the Oro, A, the list is longer, there's more Chumas, than the than the Ainain and Svetens, the it's Mafurish by Pesach, the Pasuk of Aro, it's only Gazer Shava from Mysa. Says the Gemara Vaita. Okay, and we're continuing on that same same force of Lima, guys. In other words, so now we also established by Karim Pesach that the failure of mauling your child and an Eved is going to stop you from eating Karim Pesach. Why don't we learn out that lot? That the failure of mauling your child and your eved will stop you from eating truma. <laughs> Whereas once you're learning it out, right? Let's, let's let's continue learning it out. You know, keep the faucet open. So it says the Gemara the following: Ima pesach milas sechorav avoda makeves, af truma milas sechorav avoda makeves. Let's say the same thing. Let's keep on learning and saying if you don't have a mila on your child or your and your avodim, that what that they can't eat truma. You won't be able to eat truma. Amakra oh the pasuk says. Umalta oisoi and Malta oisoi az yoichal boy. Mila zechor avodim akeves boy. Milacho pesach. They mila zechor avodim akeves betruma. It's right. It's it's we have we have boy is is a miut. Just boy it only pesach and not truma. But only pesach not truma. In other words, it's a miut, guys. This whole chumra that you have a child that's going to stop you or an evet that's going to stop you is only bow and only in the current pesach. But when it comes to truma, no, it's only one thing, boy, only that and not anymore. So therefore, the mila of my, of my Eved or my, my Zoch or my son will not stop me from eating truma. Ihachi, if we darshan guys bo as a miyot, if you're saying bo, it, ema kol oral loyachal boy, all any oral can eat from the current Pesach, boy ena oichal, aval oichal hu truma. In other words, once you're learning oral, you can't play both sides of the fence. So you're telling me, guys, listen, 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 guys, listen, look at me, look at me, look, listen to this convoluted, unbelievable, only Gemara could think this way. Mamish. It's my law school, law school 101. You're telling me the following. You got a Gazeri Shava from Truma to Karm Pesach. Karm Pesach, tru, Truma, oral's out, here it's out. So now what do you say? Karm Pesach, Eved, and, and child, not Gemal, it's out. So by Truma, this should be out. Says the Gemara, no. You know why? When it, regarding a child, this it says bow. Ah, it says oh bow. Bow says it says oral also should be out. Why should the oral be out? Because it says over here by Karim Pesach, all any any oral shouldn't eat it. So now what did you do? We asked the kasha from what from Xer Shava. You answered what bow, and now you're destroying Xer Shava that we began with in the first place. The bow, are you telling me that's gonna be my that that Evan uh, should be my oral because it says by Karim Pesach. The whole oral light 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 your chal boy. An oral should eat in the current Pesach. Mashma only in the current Pesach he shouldn't eat. But Truma, he would be able to eat. It's just, it's it's unbelievable. In your line of reasoning, you just destroyed the beginning where you came from. It's it's, it's fascinating. It says call 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 oral your chal boy. Boy ain't no oichal of oichal of Truma. Says Maha Ksiv Taish of Asacha. What are you talking about? I got a Gzeri Shava right now. Fred Gemara Umar Royas. Why there was a mistaba to go ahead? And say the Gzeri Shava should apply to what? To the oral rather than to Truma and, and regarding the Eved and your Yazacha. Says the Gemara, Mestaba, all this the Gufa, have a little boy, she came Mysa, the Gufa, Vainish Chorus. Says the Adi Rabba, Mila Sechora of Abad of Havel Rabuye. We should include the fact that you can't mal your, if you don't mal your son, you have Adam, that you should say that Truma you can't eat if you don't mal them. Why? She came Yeshlai Bechol Shah. Because there he, ha- he has more children and more avadim, it could be all the time. It says the Marachanach the Fish, the same parrots. It's still more the list that why you should include oral rather than Sukhar of Avadat Ma'ak of Achilles Truma is what most Mustaba what by oral. We buy the same the same guys. Okay, listen to this. We buy the same Vachol Hanach the Fish and Namile Matsasamid. Me Yakimidi, the Arlis the Gufa Loy Ma'ak for Bay, but Arlis the Achrina Makavis Bay. Guys, listen to this. You're telling me the following. The whole 
you want to say that what? That the whole the whole oral loyachal boy. An oral can't eat from the current Pesach. Good? He can't eat from the current Pesach. But he bought the Chaira, he should be able to eat Truma. Yeah? That's what you're saying. But boy, guys, guys, listen to the Limud. The Miyad is by Karim Pesach, he can eat, but he should be able to eat what? By Truma. Yeah? And why do we use the Gezer Shava of Toysha Vesaka for? To tell me that if his Eved or his what? His Eved or his son do not have a Mila, that what? That, that you won't be able to eat Truma. Now, one second. That means. If I was an oral, I would be able to eat truma. But not because my Eved and they're they're not Gamal that I shouldn't be able to eat truma. Again, you're you're playing two sides of the fence. You're using it for the following. You're using Gazer Shova for either one. It's either for oral or for Eved Vavodov. If it's for Eved Vavodov, that means I as an oral could eat truma. Yes. But if my Eved and, and, and Zacha are not Gamal, then I can't eat truma. Says Rava, what for a swear is this? If I myself goof for oral, this isn't a problem. You're going to tell me my fact that my other guys are not Gamalich can make Truma a problem? Says the Gemara, it makes no sense. So therefore, that's what it says. That my that the, the Mila Zachah of Avodav and Zachar of Avodav should be me from Truma. Me, you can meet the Alice to goof Eloy Ma'akvabe. His Alice won't stop from meeting Truma because he only applied it to Garden Pesach. Boy, you have a meal. I'll just achrina ma'ak for day. Good. Says the Gemara. Hash the damid boy ledrasha. Who now you're telling me that boy is ledrasha? Then kol ben neicha loyachal boy lamali. Ben neicha means a person who makes himself like a a, a, a ben neicha, like a, a foreigner to our kodesh baruch hu. Shnayif mekarim pesach. Hamaris das poiseles, right? That if he's maris das, in other words, he goes ahead and and, and he, he's a mummer to Hashem. Rashi says. In Hemer Daito, he, he goes off the derech. He rebels against the, uh, the derech. And he makes his actions like that of a nachri, like a foreigner. So Then he should say, So Oral loyachal by lamali. Okay, let's let's hold this tomorrow. So let's hold this tomorrow. I'm getting ahead of myself.